Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice Writer. What I want to cover in this module is how to allocate a key command to a particular task. Now to do that, you need to go onto the Tools menu and down the bottom of the Tools menu, you have Customize or near the bottom, Customize. When you open this dialog box, you get several different options like to customize the menus, the toolbars, the notebook bar, context menus, etc. But keyboard is where I want to focus for this session. Now, at the moment, it's just doing the keyboard commands for writer. If you tick the top op option, LibreOffice, obviously that's going to apply to multiple applications, not just writer. What you've got is a list of the current key commands. As you can see there, some of these are listed. However, not all of them are listed. Some of the ones that you would expect to be listed that do exist are not listed. For example, if you do um, control C, it's gone to control C. I've just pressed control C on the keyboard and it jumped to that. It's telling me that that is not allocated. But if I scroll down to find copy, go to edit, copy is allocated to control C when I click on it there. So that's what you've got to double check before you allocate a key command that it's not being used elsewhere because what will happen is wherever you allocate will overwrite copy and it won't be doing copy so for example if you used f7 for a key command to do something that means the f7 spell check feature which is very commonly used would not work what you've said would work so just be careful of that now what i want to do is i'm going to use the alt keys then I'm, i know that i'm away from all the control keys so i'm just going to type on the keyboard alt 1 and when you type alt 1 that should go to the alt keys there you go alt 1 right none of these alt keys look like they're allocated but again you've just got to be careful now i want to allocate that to insert a chart so what i've got there alt 1 and go modify now that's added that in as a key command so if i click ok to that and use it alt 1 it inserts a chart which is great and then I'm just going to click off that chart and delete that and go back into it so back into tools customize it remember where we were and then you're back to this one again I'm going to do alt 1 it'll go to the alt keys and now it says chart and if I go insert chart it tells me the key command that I've allocated and if I just cancel this off again for a second and go to the insert menu chart, it also puts it in the menu as well. So you've got it there. So just make sure you are not overwriting a previous one. Now, let me just go back into that. So into customize and then something else that you might need to do. If you decided to delete that alt one, so it's got chart, you've got the option there to delete it. But you might have to reset writer. You might have to come out of it and come back into it. So if I click OK, so according to that, it's deleted it. If I do Alt 1, you just double check in that it doesn't bring anything in. So that is OK. But if it did bring the charts in again, you would have to just close this down and then just reopen it. And it would pick up, pick up the change that you've made uh, when you reopen it. So that's all I want to talk about in this little video is how you can allocate key commands to um, items that you use regularly. So things that you do often and there isn't a key command for it. So I usually use Alt 1 and Alt 2 for heading styles, heading style 1 and heading style 2 when I'm doing a document. That's what I use. So I've customized that. Now they may, they may well already have a key command that's quite easy to remember. But some of the key commands when you start doing control plus shift plus whatever start getting a bit confusing on the old keyboard but that's all i want to talk about i'll catch you on the next one thanks for your time